So I have argued that there are three levels of change. The first and the one that psychologists know the most about is change at the individual level, an individual mind changing. But if that happens and there is nothing at the next level, which I'll call the mezzo level, if nothing happens at that middle level, which I would argue is the level of the institution, your university, your community, your children's school, your town, whatever is that middle level, if those people don't engage at the same time as you are engaging as an individual on this change project, nothing will happen because only institutions have the power to change processes and policies. And I'm going to argue that unless you've got the organization doing its bit based on the same data about implicit bias, it will not change. But you put these two together and I think you would see fast change, massive change. And of course, these are the only things that are under our control. The third is what we're going through. Something happens at the level of a society. A society sits quietly and just, you know, sucks it up. And then there is a little break and a little revolution happens. And when that lines up with individual change and institutional change, I think you cannot be in a better moment because as you are doing your individual change and as your organizations are changing at the level of the institution and your society is changing the names of a sports team or removing a statue and so on, then all these three are moving in a single direction. And I think that's what happened for sexuality attitudes. We've seen that we can make change if we do it at all three levels, or at least I have a model for why I think anti-gay bias can be our model, because we have made it work. And not many societies and many times can point to evidence of the kind we have and say, look, it happened here. Why? Why did it happen? And why can't it happen elsewhere?